Discover Addis Ababa, where the Afghan Union headquarters is located. Hello, Displorers. Welcome to another exciting video presented to you by Displore, and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall take a diplomatic trip to the capital city of Africa and location for the Afghan Union headquarters, Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is the capital and largest city of Ethiopia with over 3 million inhabitants from various diverse backgrounds speaking various languages. As a chartered city, Addis Ababa also serves as the capital city of the Oromia region. It is where the African Union is headquartered and where its predecessor of the Organization of African Unity as well as various other continental and international organizations. Addis Ababa is therefore often referred to as the political capital of Africa for its historical, diplomatic and political significance for the continent. The city is populated by people from different regions of Ethiopia, Africa and the world because of the presence of all the headquarters of organizations present there, as well as the presence of the Addis Ababa University. Addis Ababa is definitely a major city of Africa with many significant importance to the continent, so let us look at the ins and outs of what makes this city so special. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Background and Growth of Addis Ababa The site of Addis Ababa was chosen by Empress Taitu Betu and the city was founded in 1886 by Emperor Menelik II. Menelik, as initially a king of the Shewa province, had found Mount Entoto a useful base for military operations in the south of his realm. And in 1879, he visited the reputed ruins of a medieval town and an unfinished rock church that showed proof of the medieval empire's capital in the area before the campaigns of Ahmad ibn Ibrahim. His interest in the area grew when his wife, Taitu, began work on a church on Mount Entoto, and Menelik endowed a second church in the area. However, the immediate area did not encourage the funding of a town for lack of firewood and water. So settlements actually began in the valley south of the mountain in 1886. Initially, Taitu built a house for herself near the Filwoha hot mineral springs, where she and members of the Shoan royal court liked to take mineral baths. Other nobility and their staff and household settled in the vicinity, and Menelik expanded his wife's house to become the imperial palace which remains the seat of government in Addis Ababa today. The name changed to Addis Ababa and became Ethiopia's capital when Menelik II became emperor of Ethiopia. The town grew by leaps and bounds to become the Alpha city it is today. One of Emperor Menelik's contributions that are still visible today is the planting of numerous eucalyptus trees along the city streets. Following all the major engagements of their invasions, Italian troops from the colony of Eritrea entered Addis Ababa on 5th May 1936. Along with the Dire Dawa, the city had been spared the area bombardment practiced elsewhere, and its railway to Djibouti remained intact. After the occupation, the city served as the Duke of Austed's capital for unified Italian East Africa until 1941, when it was abandoned in favor of Amba Alagi and other redoubts during the Second World War's East African campaign. The city was then liberated by Major Orde Wingate and Negos Haile Selassie from Ethiopia, Gideon Force and Ethiopian resistance in time to permit Emperor Haile Selassie's return on the 5th of May 1941, five years to the day after he had left. Following reconstruction, Haile Selassie helped the organization of the Afghan unity in 1963 and invited the new organization to keep its headquarters in Addis Ababa. The OAU was dissolved in 2002 and replaced by the Afghan Union, the AU, which is also headquarters in the city. The United Nations Economic Commission for Africa also has its headquarters in Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa was also the site of the Council of the Oriental Orthodox Churches in 1965. Addis Ababa is the mother city of the world. Ethiopia has often been called the original home of mankind because of various humanoid fossil discoveries like the Australopithecines Lucy, Northeastern Africa, and the Alpha region in particular, which was a central focus of these claims until the recent DNA evidence suggesting origins in South Central Ethiopian regions like present-day Addis Ababa. After analyzing the DNA of almost 1,000 people around the world, geneticists and other scientists claimed people spread from what is now Addis Ababa 100,000 years ago. The research indicated that genetic diversity decreases steadily the farther one's ancestors traveled from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Climate of the city Addis Ababa has a subtropical highland climate with precipitation varying considerably by the month. The city has a complex mix of highland climate zones with temperature differences of up to 10 degrees Celsius depending on elevation and prevailing wind patterns. The high elevation moderates temperatures years round and the city's position near the equator means that temperatures are very constant from month to month, 
and as such, the climate would be maritime if its elevation was not taken into account, as no month is above 22 degrees Celsius in mean temperatures. The highest temperature on record was 30.6 degrees Celsius on the 26th of February 2019, while the lowest temperature on record was 0 degrees Celsius recorded on multiple occasions. Standard of Living According to the 2007 National Census, 98.64% of the housing units of Addis Ababa had access to safe drinking water, while 14.9% had flush toilets. 707 had pit toilet both ventilated and unventilated, and 14.3% had no toilet facilities. In 2014, there were 63 public toilets in the city, with plans to build more. Values for other reported common indicators of the standard of living for Addis Ababa as of 2005 include the following. 0.1% of the inhabitants fall into the lowest wealth quintile. Adult literacy for men is 93.6% and for women 79.95%. The highest in the nation for both sexes and the civic infant mortality rate is 45 infant deaths per 1,000 live births, which is less than the nation worldwide average of 77. At least half of all these deaths occurred in the infant's first month of life. Therefore, Addis Ababa has a very pretty good standard of living, which is way above that of its counterpart cities in Ethiopia as well as around the continent. Economy The economic activities in Addis Ababa are diverse as according to official statistics from the federal government. Activities include trade and commerce, manufacturing and industry, homemakers of different variety, civil administration, transport and communication, education, health and social services, hotel catering services and agriculture. In addition to the residents of rural parts of Addis Ababa, the city dwellers also participate in animal husbandry and cultivation of gardens. 677 hectares of land is irrigated annually, on which 129,880 quintals of vegetables are cultivated. The city also has recently been in construction boom, with tall buildings rising in many places. Various luxury services have also become available, and the construction of shopping malls and hotels have recently increased. According to Tia Goldenberg of IOL, area spa professionals said that some people have labeled the city the spa capital of Africa. Ethiopian Airlines has its headquarters on the grounds of Bole International Airport in Addis Ababa. Tourism Tourism is a growing industry within Addis Ababa and Ethiopia as a whole. The country has seen a 10% increase in tourism over the last decade, subsequently bringing an influx of tourists to Addis Ababa. In the year 2015, the European Council on Tourism and Trade named Ethiopia the number one tourist port in the world. Addis Ababa Zoo kept 15 lions in 2011, and their hair samples were used in genetic analysis, which revealed that they were genetically diverse. It was therefore proposed to include them in a captive breeding program. The climate, hospitality, and diversity of the city is the main pull factor to the city's tourism section, which has generated thousands of jobs and contributed immensely to the GDP of Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is considered to be actually safe in comparison to other cities in the region. On a crime index, Addis Ababa scores 44.28, putting it on a crime level of moderate. Pickpocketing and petty unarmed thefts are more common within the city. Architectural Development Mayor Kuma Demexa, the city's mayor, embarked on a quest to improve investment for the buildings in the city, which is why a financial district is under construction in Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa is the headquarters of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa as well as the African Union. Notable taller architecture in Addis Ababa include the CBE headquarters, NIB International Bank, Zemen Bank, Hybrids Bank, Huda Tower, Nani Tower, Bank Mizur Building, as well as the approved Angola World Trade Center Tower, Abyssinia Bank Tower, Mexico Square Tower, and the $200 million worth AU Conference Center and the office complex. Notable buildings include St. George's Cathedral, founded in 1896, and also home to a museum, Holy Trinity Cathedral, which was once the largest Ethiopian Orthodox cathedral and the location of Sylvia Pankhurst tomb, as well as the burial place of Emperor Haile Selassie and the Imperial family, and those who fought the Italian invasion during World War II. Sport facilities include Addis Ababa and Nyala stadiums, and the list of monumental and memorable structures in Addis Ababa are endless, which has made it a hot zone in Africa and the world. Education Addis Ababa University was founded in 1950 and was originally named University College of Addis Ababa, then renamed in 1962 for the former Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie I, who had donated his Egenity Loyal Palace to be the university main campus in the previous year. It is the home of the Institute of Ethiopian Studies and the Ethnological Museum. The city also has numerous public universities and private colleges, including Addis Ababa Science and Technology University, 
Ethiopian Civil Service University, Atmas University College, St. Mary's University, Unity University, Kotebe Metropolitan University, and Rift Valley University. Transportation The transport system in Addis Ababa is one of the best in the continent, with roads, rail, sea, and air all functional and in great shape. The construction of the Addis Ababa Ring Road was initiated in 1998 to implement the city master plan and enhance peripheral development and connect all the five main gates in and out of Addis Ababa with all other regions. For this project, China Road and Bridge Corporation was the partner of Addis Ababa City Road Authority. The city is served by Addis Ababa Bole International Airport, where a new terminal opened in 2003. The old Elidata Airport in the Western Old Airport District is used mostly by small crafts and military planes and helicopters. Addis Ababa originally had a railway connection with Djibouti City, with a picturesque French-style railway station, but this route has been abandoned. The new Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway started operation in September 2016, running parallel to the route of the original railway line. The port of the city is also top-notch and one of the best in Africa. Conclusion Addis Ababa is definitely a standard African city with numerous advantages right from the creation, being a modern city to modern touches, and it is the main reason why international organizations have established their headquarters in the city. It is not just the beauty, safety, infrastructure, but also the fact that the city, along with its host country, has been at the center of major decision makings and creations of several plans from the very beginning. Besides all this, being one of the originally free cities on the continent should count for something. There you have it, explorers. Discovery of Africa's most diplomatic city, Addis Ababa. Thanks for watching this video. And if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.